Hello ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? So, um, it's me, Matt. Uh, I want to do a quick post. I haven't posted a video in a little while about um, some of the experiences I'm have having diet brain uh, doing my first photo shoot. So I've never really um, done a photo shoot before. This is going to be my first one coming up in about a week. And I'm sitting here in camp and uh, I wanted to talk about the fact that a lot of these pictures that you see on Instagram and a lot of these finished photos and uh, just my experience so far inside of doing kind of a carb depletion and get ready for the shoot. Uh, for anybody who sits there and sees these people and sees their, their touched up, done up photos on Instagram and feels like that's something that's attainable year round, I want you to know it's not. It's not. And uh, it's not fair for you to hold yourself to the standards that you're seeing on social media because it's not accurate and it's it's not even healthy. Um, I'm doing uh, I'm doing a photo shoot with Senya because we're relaunching our our website. We're making a lot of changes and we're getting ready to go away to Costa Rica, Costa Rica. But uh, when you see these pictures and they're touched up, and they're on Instagram. It's these people don't look like this year round. They really don't. You can kind of see now. I'm just starting to carb deplete. Just starting to get some some veins popping. I'm getting skinny. I weigh. Uh, Two, I woke up this morning at 218 and a half. My usual weight is between 227 and 230. But um, it involves a lot of sacrifice, a lot of bullshit, uh, a lot of being hungry. For those of you who have never carb depleted before, as soon as you start taking carbs out of your diet, you go retarded. Yesterday I left, I went to get up after having breakfast at camp and head into uh, my job. I got up from the table, I left my cell phone on the table, right? I went back, I threw on my boots. And I put on my boots, I realized I didn't have my cell phone, so I freaked out, ran out, tried to go grab my cell phone, grabbed my cell phone, went back, realized that when I was grabbing my cell phone, I left my card, which is a little scan card that we have to get from place to place, um, and I went back, grabbed my, grabbed my scan card. I guess what I'm trying to say is for anybody who, who sees a photo on social media, or anybody who sees one of these model shots, that people don't look like that year round. It's, it's, uh, it's something that you train for, right? It involves... You, um, you cut your carbs down significantly, and then the day before you carb load, you drink an insane amount of water. Right now I'm drinking about 8, 9, 10 liters a day, I'm trying to get the hormones in my body to register as there's const a constant influx of water coming in, and you start cutting it down. But it's not normal to be that vascular. It's not healthy to be that vascular, and it's not sustainable to be that vascular, especially when you see guys get on stage. So for anybody who sees model shots or sees photos of people on stage or sees... Um, just pictures, it's, uh, you gotta remember that there's a lot of sacrifice involved in getting to that stage. I'm just really starting to learn about it right now. Senya's done a ton of photo shoots and a ton of water loading. Um, and I'm not gonna lie to you, it, it ain't easy. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and tell you that's something that you can't do, because you can. Um, but just know that when you're looking at these photos, it's not a good barometer of, of what the human physique is. It's, it's a good barometer of the human physique's potential. But it's not necessarily a healthy barometer to be that shredded year round. It's not an attainable barometer to be shredded that year round. And it's by no means something that you should measure yourself by, right? So I guess the point of this video is to say I'm doing it. I'm starting to lean out. I'm starting to feel good about our upcoming photo shoot. But um, when you're looking at these pictures on Instagram, these are pictures that are captured at a person's peak when they're uh, water depleted, sodium depleted. Uh, when they're carb depleted, right? Um, and it's not really a healthy mind state. It's not a healthy mind state. It's not a healthy physical state to be that low. It's actually pretty unhealthy. So I guess what I'm saying is don't measure yourself by anybody else. Measure yourself by your own metrics. Measure yourself by, by what feels good when you wake up in the morning, you know? Measure yourself by what feels good when you go to bed at night. Measure yourself by your energy levels. I'm walking around work like a zombie right now. My brain's turned off. My, uh... I'm, I'm drinking an absurd amount of water right now and um, I feel like I have the IQ of a rock <laughs> thoughts are hard to chain together um, and I'm not I'm not doing this to say oh poor me I just want to explain to people out there who think that uh, that living the way that 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 living and that constantly having this this set goal of achievement of being shredded year-round it's just not attainable. It's not attainable, it ain't healthy, and it don't make sense. So aside from that, Sydney and I have some amazing, amazing shit coming up. We're moving to Costa Rica here um, in August, right? Uh, 
we're doing some really cool stuff with the website. We've got some couples challenges coming up. Um, I'm starting to pick up on my coaching. I'm seeing a lot more clients roll in. I'm really proud of a lot of my clients that are rolling too. It's it's gonna be amazing to be able to quit doing the stuff that I've been doing so long, locked in camp, locked in the oil field, and go and just help people get fit for a living is my dream. It's what I love to do. I love to see people succeed. I love to see people successful. So I've got a ton of really, really cool things coming up. Super stoked to share those with you. Um, we're getting a new video done up for YouTube. Sandy and I are gonna be buying a drone for when we move to Costa Rica, do some really, really cool videos. Do a lot more adventure blogging, right? A lot more diving videos, a lot more adventure videos. And uh, I'm just looking forward to, to changing my life, right? My contract here keeps getting extended, which is both good and bad, right? For me, uh, I've talked to people and they're like, aren't you scared? Aren't you scared about picking up your shit and moving across the world? And uh, Sunny and I kind of talked about it. And she's like, well, you know, you're really well to let on that you're a little nervous. I'm fucking freaking out. I'm losing my mind. Uh, to do something like that for me, who's been in the oil field my whole life and... I just have this expectation, you know, like, I mean, I make good money doing what I do. I work really hard. I sacrifice a lot, but there's a constant influx of income coming in. So moving uh, across the world, dropping everything, selling everything to two little suitcases scares the living shit out of me. I'm not going to lie to you, but like a lot of people say, if your dreams don't scare you, if your goals aren't big enough, then you're not doing something right. So I'd rather go out there and uh, give it my all and chase my dreams and you know, worst case scenario, turn around and say I failed, then uh, sit back, work a solid job, be comfortable, and uh, retire thinking I coulda, woulda, shoulda, right? If your dreams don't scare you, they just ain't big enough. So that's all I really have for today. Um, appreciate all the love that I'm getting on uh, Instagram and social media. You guys are amazing. Uh, you keep me motivated, and I'm looking forward to starting this adventure with you guys together. So you guys have an awesome day. We'll see you soon.